Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is x plus 3 bracket times x plus 5 bracket times x plus 7 bracket times x plus 9 bracket is equal to 9. To find the values of x from this equation. Now, solution. To solve this problem, we have two methods. So, this first method from a problem which is x plus 3 bracket times x plus 5 bracket times x plus 7 bracket times x plus 9 bracket is equal to 9. Here in the middle x plus 5 x plus 7 in the middle it is x plus 6. So we let y is equal to x plus 6. Then into these positions of x here, it will be here x, so it will be x is equal to, we take 6 to this side, it will be y minus 6. So into these positions of x, we substitute y minus 6. Then our equation, x here, it will be y minus 6, then plus 3, bracket, bracket, x here, y minus 6, plus 5, bracket, x here it is y minus 6 plus 7 bracket here it will be y minus 6 then plus 9 bracket is equal to 9 so here it will be y minus 6 plus 3 it is minus 3 bracket bracket so it will be y minus 6 plus 5 it is minus 1 bracket then here it will be y minus 6 plus 7 it is plus 1 bracket bracket y minus 6 plus 9 it is positive 3 bracket is equal to 9 then here it will be this times this so y minus 3 bracket times y plus 3 bracket then this times this y minus 1 bracket times y plus 1 bracket which is equal to 9. Now, this part here and this part here is in the form of difference of two squares. So, we'll apply the rule which is A minus B bracket times A plus B bracket, which is equal to A square minus B square. So, here it will be Y square, so Y square minus 3 square bracket then bracket y square minus one square bracket is equal to nine so it will be y square minus nine square it is nine bracket then y square minus one square it is one bracket is equal to nine now here nine and one the average 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. So the average you divide by 2. So 10 divided by 2, it is 5. Then from here, 5, we will let. So we let from this y square, we let y square is equal to r plus 5. So into y square, we substitute r plus 5. So it will be r plus 5 then minus 9 bracket then bracket y square it is r sorry r plus 5 then minus 1 bracket is equal to 9 so here it will be r 5 minus 9 it is minus 4 bracket bracket r 5 minus 1 it is plus 4 bracket is equal to 9 now here, this and this is in the form of difference of two squares. It is in this form. So we'll apply this form here. So it will be r square minus 4 square is equal to 9. So r square minus 4 square, it is 16, is equal to 9. So it will be r square is equal to 9 minus 16. Take this side to be plus 16. Then it will be r square is equal to 9 plus 16, it is 25. 
then we apply square root in both sides. So this square root will cancel square, then it will be r is equal to plus or minus 5. Then in the next step, we recall. Before, we let r is equal to into here. y square is equal to r plus 5. So r, 5 will take to this side, r is equal to y square minus 5. So y square minus 5. Then into r we substitute y square minus 5. So it will be y square minus 5 is equal to this here plus or minus 5. So here we have two solutions. So it will be y square minus 5 is equal to positive 5. And the other solution is y square minus 5 is equal to negative 5. So it will be y square is equal to 5. This take this side to be plus 5. Then it will be y square is equal to 5 plus 5, it is 10. Then here we apply square root in both sides. So it will be y is equal to plus or minus square root of 10. Then into this solution, we take negative 5 to this side, so it will be y square is equal to negative 5. Negative 5 take this side, it will be plus 5. So it will be y square is equal to minus 5 plus 5, it is 0. Then we apply square root in both sides. So here, this square root cancel square, then it will be y is equal to square root of 0, it is 0. Then we recall again. Before we let y is equal to into here, we let y is equal to x plus 6. So from y is x plus 6. Then here y we substitute here, so it will be x plus 6 is equal to plus or minus square root of 10. So it will be x is equal to 6 to take to this side to be minus 6, then plus or minus square root of 10. So into here we have two compl two solutions. This is not complex, it is real solution because it has no imaginary number. So and here, y is equal to x plus 6, then is equal to 0. So it will be x is equal to 6 to this side to be minus 6. So also here, we have real solution. So we have total of three solutions. The first solution is equal to negative 6. The second value of x is equal to, here when it is positive, to be minus 6 plus square root of 10. The third value of x is equal to, when it is negative, to be minus 6 minus square root of 10. So these are all the values of x in this our problem. Or to solve in another method, so this is the second method. For my problem, which is x plus 3 bracket times x plus 5 bracket times x plus 7 bracket times x plus 9 bracket is equal to 9. So here we start this times this. So x plus 3 bracket times x plus 9 bracket. Then this times this, x plus 5 bracket times x plus 7 bracket is equal to 9. So we multiply this times this. So x times x, it is x squared plus x times 9, it is 9x plus 3 times x, it is 3x plus 3 times 9, it is 27 bracket, then bracket x times x, it is x square plus x times 7, it is 7x plus 5 times x, it is 5x plus 5 times 7, it is 35 bracket is equal to this 9. Then here it will be x square plus 9x plus 3x, it is 12x plus 27 bracket bracket. It will be x square plus 7x plus 5x, it is 12x plus 35 bracket is equal to 9. Then in the next step, here it will be x square plus 
12x plus 27, we make this, this equation, this expression in common. So it will be x squared plus 12x plus 35. 12, 27, 35 is same as 27 plus 27 plus 35 minus 27. Here it is 3 plus, so it is 27 plus 8. Bracket is equal to 9. Now here, this is common. x plus, x squared plus 12x plus 27. This is common. So we let u is equal to x squared plus 12x plus 27. So it will be u bracket u plus 8. So u plus 8 bracket is equal to 9. Then here u times u it is u square plus u times 8 it is 8u is equal to 9. Then in the next step we we'll take 9 to this side so it will be u square plus 8u this take to side to be minus 9 is equal to 0. Now this equation here it can be solved by grouping and factorization whereas the product is equal to 1 times negative 9 it is negative 9 and the sum is equal to 8. So here it is the product of 9 times negative 1 and here to get 8 it is the sum of 9 plus this negative 1. So we'll use these two factors. So it will be u square plus 8u is same as 9u minus u. So plus 9u minus u, it is 8u. Then minus 9 is equal to 0. So here, u is common. So we'll take u out of bracket, u square divided by u, it is u plus 9u divided by u, it is 9, bracket. Here, we take negative 1 out of bracket. Negative u divided by negative 1, it is positive u. Negative 9 divided by negative 1, it is positive 9, bracket is equal to 0. Then here, u plus 9 is common, so we take out of bracket. This divided by this, it is u. This here divided by this, it is negative 1, bracket is equal to 0. So into here we have two solutions of u plus 9 is equal to 0 and u minus 1 is equal to 0. So here it will be u is equal to this take to this side to be minus 9. Here u is equal to this take to this side to be plus 1, positive 1. Then we recall before we let u is equal to into here we let u is equal to x square plus 12x plus 27. So, x square plus 12x plus 27. 27. So, here we substitute x square plus 12x plus 27 is equal to negative 9. And we have the other solution u. It is x square plus 12x plus 27 is equal to this one so here it will be x square plus 12 x plus 27 negative 9 take this side to be plus 9 is equal to 0 so it will be x square plus 12 x then plus 27 plus 9 it is 36 is equal to 0 now here to solve this equation We'll solve by using quadratic formula to find the values of x which is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. So it will be x is equal to negative b, b it is 12 plus or minus square root of b square it will be 12 square minus 4 times a it is 1 times c is 36. Then over 2 times a, which is 1. So it will be x is equal to negative 12 plus or minus square root of 12 square. It is 144. Then minus 4 times 6, it is 24 goes to 
4 times 3 is 12 plus 2, it is 14. Then over this times this, it is 2. So it will be x is equal to negative 12 plus or minus square root of 144 minus 144, it is square root of 0, which is 0. Then over 2. So it will be x is equal to negative 12 divided by 2, it is negative 6. So this is the first value of x. Now to solve here into here, it will be x square plus 12x plus 27. This take this side to be minus 1 is equal to 0. So it will be x square plus 12x plus 27 minus 1, it is 26 is equal to 0. So here, to solve this, by using this formula, quadratic formula, it will be x is equal to negative b to be negative 12 plus or minus square root of b square to be 12 square minus 4 times a it is 1 times c is 26 then over 2 times a which is 1. So to be x is equal to negative 12 plus or minus square root of 12 square is 144 then minus 4 times 6 it is 24 goes to 4 times 2, it is 8 plus 2, it is 10. Then over this times this, it is 2. Then to be x is equal to negative 12 plus or minus square root 144 minus 104, it is 40. Then over 2. So it will be x is equal to negative 12 plus or minus square root of 40 is same as square root of 4 times 10 then over 2 so it will be x is equal to negative 12 plus or minus square root of 4 it is 2 times this square root of 10 then divide by 2 we divide by 2 in this part and in this part so it will be x is equal to negative 12 divided by 2 it is negative 6 plus or minus this and this will cancel so it will be square root of 10 so into here also we have two solutions therefore the first value of x is equal to negative 6 the second value of x here when it is positive it is negative 6 plus square root of 10 the third value of x is equal to when it is negative it is negative 6 minus square root of 10 so these are all the values of x in this our problem same as the answer in the first method. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these tips to miss out. Subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye bye.